Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna go over how to create this design right here. This is another really simple, really fast, really easy one to make, okay? Um, but it gives that nice sort of groovy look and it goes with sort of that evergreen, funny animal style design. So if you'd like to learn about this and learn how to do this design, please do stick around. So as always, we're starting with our blank backdrop. This is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I will be designing for black again today. So I'm just always gonna start by selecting my background color. Um, today's design is actually gonna be a really easy one to make, but you know, it's again, something fun. Um, animals are always fun, by the way. It's another animal design because animals are great uh, evergreens. So animals sell year round, um, which is always nice because remember when we sell any kind of trends or any kind of holiday designs, they only sell during a very small portion of the year. You'll get a lot of returns after that holiday is done. Um, and there's usually a ton of competition as well for certain holidays. So make sure that you've got yourself a ton of evergreens. And so animals are a great way to go. And anytime that you can add some humor to it and make it funny, it tends to sell more. Funny designs always sell a little bit more. Um, and again, you can still take advantage of things that happen to be popular at the time. So right now, I don't know what it is, but I've seen a lot of capybara designs. Uh, capybaras are just really really big rodents you may have seen them at the at the zoo but for whatever reason i've seen a lot of them lately on social media and so you can make some sort of really funny capybara style design and so that's what i'm going to do today um, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and pick our capybara so let's decide on what it is we want first so go to the left hand side where it says elements and we're just going to go ahead and do a search here uh, so capybara right there. And again, you can use graphics for this. You can use photos. I'm gonna go ahead and use photo for this one. And I actually like this one right here. I've already kind of looked and decided what I was gonna do, but there's a lot of you know fun capybara designs or photos. So if you didn't know what it is, this is a capybara, which is a classified as a rodent, even though it would be a very, very large rodent. Um, so we are gonna go with this one right here. I liked him, he's sitting here and I can remove the background pretty easily and just get this capybara. So that is what I'm gonna do here. And so I am gonna go ahead and start by hitting edit image and doing a little bit of a background removal on him. And we'll give it a sec. All right, perfect, see? That looks pretty good. We'll hit apply and we'll give that a second. And now what we're gonna do is sort of a little bit of a retro groovy style design. Um, and it is going to say, don't worry, be cappy. And I did go ahead and check, it is not trademarked. And I have actually, yes, seen designs that are selling right now that say that exact same saying, don't worry, be, cap be uh, cappy. So that's always a fun sort of play on words. And so we're gonna pick a style you know, sort of more of that groovy style that I know has been selling pretty well. So I'm just gonna take my little capybara here and I'm gonna stick him right there. And I'm gonna put him on a little bit of that whole core of vintage retro sunset look. So let's go ahead and do a little search. I can put retro sunset, vintage set sunset. But if we do that and we stick with, these are photos, let's go ahead and go with graphics for this one. And there are just a ton, a ton of graphics. And wow, fortunately the two that I wanted are right here towards the top. I actually liked this one and this one. They're both a little bit different. So I'm used to seeing a lot of these kind of just regular circle kind of ones. And there's some distressed ones too. Um, but what I really liked is I really liked this one because it was a little bit different and I really love the colors. Now again, you can play with these colors, but I'm actually not going to because I really did like the colors here quite a bit. It definitely gave it sort of that old groovy look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and center that. And I also liked this one right here and it had pretty much the same style and the same colors. This was a little bit different so maybe I'll take that and I'll use 
that one there to match. So now those are more or less the same. Good. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one, make it nice and big, and I'm gonna make it fill the whole page here. And I'm gonna go ahead and send it to back. So for this, I'm gonna hit Control, and I'm going to hit the left bracket, and that should send to back. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here, Control, left bracket, Control, left bracket. Con I want my capybara on the front. Let me find my capybara, control right bracket. There we go, take this one, control left bracket. Okay, now I got it. Playing with my layers here. Okay, so this is the way I want it layered. So something like that looks nice, it's centered. I've got my circle and it is centered and then I've got my little capybara and he is going to be centered. And I'm gonna go ahead and make him a little bit bigger so that he kind of fits right inside that circle right there. And that looks pretty cool. And so now all I have to do is add in my uh, text. So I'm gonna bring that up just a little bit there. Now it's definitely centered in the middle of the page. I'm gonna bring him down. Okay, now I just need two text boxes on it. I'm just gonna put some text above and some text below. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit T on my keyboard and I'm gonna go ahead and put, don't worry at the top. Don't worry. Nice and big there. And I'm gonna have to make that a nice light color so that I can see it. And then down here, I'm gonna do another text box and it is going to say, be cappy. Oops, and that has to be with one Y because capybara is spelled with one Y. So there we go, don't worry, be cappy. And of course, now we're just gonna have to pick what kind of font we want. Lots of different ways that we can go with this. So sometimes I'll say, go ahead and go nice and narrow because nice and narrow, you can always make nice and big like that. Nice and bold, you can read easily. And so there's one that I do kind of like that way and that's an easy way to go with it. Um, and again, you can do it lowercase, you can do it all caps, however you want. I could also go with more of a groovy style if I wanted to. Problem with some of those groovy ones is that they tend to be a little bit wider, so I couldn't make it as big. Um, so let's say I was to look at some of these groovy style ones. They are going to be a lot wider, so I'd have to bring that down, make it a lot smaller if I wanted to do that, but I certainly could. So something like that, be cappy. I kind of like the be cappy down there, but you can always play with lots of these. There's a be cappy. So right now I've just gone ahead and did a little search for groovy. And so you can see lots of fun groovy styles. Be cappy, Sergio, yeah. So anyways, you can play with those, decide what you want, decide if you want something that's maybe a little bit more groovy like that, or maybe you want something that's a little bit more, you know, standard thick. So however you want it to look. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with these fonts. So I, I went ahead and I looked through some different groovy fonts, but I did like this, cause I did like that it gave it more of that sort of groovy look and a little bit more kind of classic-y vibe and it definitely makes it stand out a little bit. So I got my don't worry, be cappy. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my white because it's gonna be a little bit more bold. Now I know I am kind of losing it on the background here and that is no problem. If you do start to lose it, you just have to throw something like a shadow on. So I'm gonna do a little effects. And for this one, I am gonna go ahead and just do a shadow there. And so I'm gonna get rid of the transparency and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick something like a black shadow just to keep it easy. And you can make the shadow as big as you want. So if you really want it to pop like that so that it really looks like it's coming off the page, you can. And of course I can make it as thin as I want. So maybe something in the middle there and I can do that again here with this one, lose my transparency. I'm gonna make it go ahead and be black again. And there is my, don't worry, be cappy. And again, I can always change the direction of the shadow. So right here, it is sort of down to the right, which is pretty much the classic one. But if, for example, I wanted it to maybe go a little bit more up into the left here, that way it pops out on 
on this here I can of course then it's going to be sort of different top to bottom so keep that in mind whether you want it to be more symmetrical or whether you want it to sort of pop more like that it's entirely up to you and how you want to do it this one also as I'm looking seems to be a little bit more offset or at least appears to be more offset than the other one so what do I got that's at negative 24 what is this one at that's at negative 45 so if I brought it down to negative let's say 24 that's where it is there so it's a little bit more down than it is out to the side um, and so I can just sort of play with that there I had that more like a 45 and then again offset I think I'm gonna make the top one offset a little bit more so that it kind of matches the bottom a little bit so there's my offset on that. And so there is my design, really cool, really easy to do, it pops really nicely. Again, I could play with some of the text color too. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and go more with the capybara color, or I could do it more that way. Uh, I could do it more like that, but I do want it to actually, you know, pop a little bit more. So maybe even if I went something more like that, let me get some of the lighter colors off of the capybara, something like that. I think I'm gonna stick with the white. There we go. Yeah, we'll stick with the white. So there it is, really quick, easy design. And so if you know what you're doing, you can make these designs super fast. And again, if we are trying to make money on um, print on demand, the more designs you up you have up the more chances you have to sell and you can have multiple versions of the same design too so again i've made this design and i picked the font i wanted would not you know there's nothing stopping you from making the exact same design 10 different ways with 10 different fonts or 10 different sunsets or 10 different color variations and putting them all up so again depending on what platform you're selling on whether or not you have limited slots or whether or not you're trying to fill up a lot of slots you can always make a bunch of copies of the same style of design or the same basic design to fill those slots so the more designs you have up the better your chances of making a sale you can even put up the same design multiple times the exact same design and try to change the price or change the tags and see if one sells better than the other that's a good way to sort of test you know what price something is selling at is just to literally have it listed multiple times if you have the space to do that so these are all things to consider um, but this is just a really fun design and again you can you know kind of market it however you want give it more of sort of that groovy look to it um, so if you have any questions about print on demand in general or about designing or about canva or about platforms or anything else go ahead drop them in the comment section below i do try to get back to them as quickly as i can and if you have video requests again i do try to get to those as quickly as i can i hope you guys are doing well with everything um, make sure you have lots of good evergreen designs up um, and good luck with all of your sales. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.